Good morning, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. You may have noticed that we have a new channel too. So go ahead and click that red subscribe button on both of them. And let's dive in to our daily devotional right here. This book is a day by day devotions for dads. And you guys can get it in the link below. So check that description and you can get the same devotional book. It's really good. Alright, so today, a furnace of doubt. It's not as a child that I believe and confess Jesus Christ. My Hosanna is Hosanna is born of a furnace of doubt. Fyodor Dostoevsky is Russian. <laughs> the famed 19th century Russian writer Dostoevsky explored some deep themes in his writing. The definition of freedom, the existence of God, the responsibility of the individual, an ongoing conflict between body and spirit. Worth nothing is that Fodor's father was a doctor and devout Christian, but that didn't make Fodor a Christian or a doctor for that matter. He had to work such things out for himself, like a lot of 20-somethings 20, 20 throughout history. Those Troy Vex, Vicky, <laughs> I don't know, started thinking deep thoughts while hanging out with the progressive intellectual poets and radicals eager to introduce socialism and even revolution. Those meanings earned him exile to Siberia and even a mock ex execution in which he was forced to face his own mortality. During his five years in that labor camp, the writer-philosopher stopped trying to explain God and surrendered to God, describing his conversion experience in later writings. When he died a quarter, cen a quarter century later, the New Testament he had acquired in Siberia was on his lap, in John 12:24 was carved into on his tombstone truly truly i say to you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains alone but if it dies it bears much fruit john 20:12:24 dad young people have always had to find their own way sometime it Sometimes it even takes five years of hard labor in a frozen wasteland or facing a mock firing squirrel squad <laughs> squad. If you can rescue your kids from such things, please do. But don't rescue them so much that they never realize their need for God. What about you? Under what dire circumstances do you realize you need for a savior? Did, did you realize your need for a savior? Your story may not be as dramatic as Dostoevsky, but it may be worth sharing with your family. Very, very true. What did it take? It took a lot. I'll tell you that. It took a lot. It took a lot for me to pick up this Bible right here and read it to you guys. We're gonna try and we're trying to read through this entire thing, and it's taken a while, but we're getting there, and we're gonna do better about that. Which is why we now have a new channel, and we may even have another one in the future. But right now, we're just gonna we're going with the one, so we have two, and we'll we'll talk about that here in just a second. First, I want to go ahead and roll that intro. So do that. Alright, so you guys might be wondering, why do you have two channels now? What What's going on? What's happening? Well, the short story is going, is here. And it, basically, what it comes down to is I have different audiences. I have the car audience. I have my family video audiences. And I have my Bible audience. My, my godly audience. You know, as much as I would love for them all to live in one place, 
I'm, my videos are struggling and so I need to do something to separate them so to say and so on my main channel here we're going to focus on the car content and I'm still going to bring in daily devotions I, th I think I'm going to bring in my devotions into into these videos and still have God included in them because I, I believe that God should be included in everything that I do because it's all for him it's to glorify him it's to pray praise God it you know he allows me to do this so he has to be the center of it so with the second channel that is where I want to move my family vlogs because I feel like if I put the family vlog separate from the car content even though there might be some times that things mix around and come in together however I feel that they will perform better and that channel will grow with that audience and as for the car channel this channel the Arctic Vet YouTube channel it'll focus on the car stuff the right the dirt bikes the auto I guess let's just call it the engines engines autos uh, mechanics how to's uh, product reviews for vehicles such such as that and that's gonna stay home on the main channel my shorts my live streaming and gaming I believe ah, man gaming see I'm not sure what to do with that I totally want to leave it on here but that may trickle into its own channel as well. And my Bible reading. I want to I want to put that on both channels for right now. Just because it's 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 absolutely free. There's no ads. I'm not making any money off of it. I'm doing it for it's God's work. I want I want to spread his word. And the best way to spread his word is to quite simply just read it. So I have my Bible and we read this. So I feel like both channels would be pretty good to put that on both of them we'll, we'll see how that goes it may end up that i start another channel of like bible study with trevor as a channel or something i'm not sure i'm not sure yet but um youtube the strategy is that you have to create content that focuses on your audience and for my youtube channel it began with cars and car meets and how-to videos and then it expanded and it, it grew it grew and it's still growing but I think we can grow better if I go back to the roots and just focus on car content on one channel and then on a second channel is where we push the family stuff to and it grows on its own because you know that could be a place where I can make a vlog or the kids could make a vlog and it could go there and it would have its own separate audience and and then the gaming potentially as well as well as the bible study so it's about it's about that it's about the growth that i th i think that it's it's time to finally step out of this boat cuz i'm on this boat i kind of wish i had a boat uh, here i know what i got a cool car i got a i got a cool audi here so we're inside this this Audi and we need to step outside of it so that we may have an Audi and is this a Chevelle or a Nova? Oh no. That is a Ford Falcon. Yep, a 73 Ford Falcon. So we may have an Audi and a Ford Falcon. How cool would it be to have two of these rolling? Versus just the one going slow. We might have our own competition, you know. <laughs> so that's that's the plan. That is why we now have the Arctic Vet Family YouTube channel because that's where the family vlogs are going to live. We may put some other content out there, but that's the that's the super short story of it. Um, not really short. It's kind of long actually, but. Hey, <laughs> got to get it out there for you guys. So um, if you want to learn some more, head over to the Arctic Vet Family YouTube channel. That is the name, Arctic Vet Family. Head over there, subscribe. It has the old logo um, and profile picture of the the boys and I if with the cross and the AV on it. That is that profile picture now. Um, and on this channel, we have one 
uh, it's a placeholder for right now. It's a me standing in front of Dora pointing like, hey, click that subscribe button. We want you. <laughs> um, that's temporary because I've got a few ideas and I want to change it up. Involve the Corvette and Dora somehow. Uh, me and potentially our cross. We'll just have to see. Because like I said, each channel, I want my focus, my centerpiece to be God. I want God to come through everything that I do. I want to be the moon to his light. You know, he's the sun. The sun is like God. The moon is me. Ref I want to reflect his light in into your lives, into everybody's life. Everybody that I see that I come into contact with, I want them to see God. Because that, that's what matters the most to me. It's not necessarily the growth. It's not necessarily the money. It's not necessarily any anything. Fame or any of that. Or anything. As long as I could say, you know what? I, I did my part. I helped bring more people to God. I had people ask me about Him. And you know what? You, you are good enough for God. He loves you. He loves me. And we just have to surrender to him. And that's that can be the hardest part. Which is kind of going back to our devotional earlier in the vlog. Man, that hit home. What caused me to really realize that I needed God in my life every single day, every single moment? COVID. COVID. COVID was. I remember breaking down. After having a real good day over at a friend's house, broke down, and I was just bawling. He's like, hey, Trevor, I got a message for you. This is coming from God. And I know it was coming from God, because God was right there. I could see him. He was presence. Right there with both of us. As my buddy was telling me, hey, Trevor, you got this. These are some things you need to do. Take this small step. Take these small steps here. And and watch watch your world change look 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 at us now so much has changed so much more is coming and it's all thanks to god it's his glory that's why that's why we do what we do here faith family fun that's what we're about arctic vet the arctic vet youtube channel and the arctic vet family youtube channel and any other channels that are going to come later we're going to test the waters. We're jumping from this boat, taking this leap of faith. I hope that you guys join us. So go ahead over to the other channel, click the subscribe button, share it, and we will have some videos up there soon. I'm going to be uploading the family vlogs from this channel over to there. So they'll be a little older videos, but you know what? That'd be all right for the meantime, because we will eventually start adding new ones as we do family stuff, which... To be honest, we do more family stuff than we do car content, so <laughs> just a heads up. Anyways, we appreciate you, love love you, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful and blessing day. Lots of blessings coming your guys' way. Because I know we have a lot of blessings coming our way. And it's finding the little joy that God places in our day through everything. So thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next vlog. Have a great day. And a great evening or a great morning <laughs> smash that thumbs up we'll catch you tomorrow okay maybe not tomorrow but in the next video god bless guys don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just got it fix in you keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ <laughs>